Joining me now is Sahil Kapoor on Capitol Hill. So what exactly is Mike Johnson, Speaker Mike Johnson, saying about this delay? Well, Yamish, there has been a change of plan here. Uh, Speaker Mike Johnson and House Republicans were all set to transmit the articles of impeachment for DHS Secretary Mayorkas to the Senate tomorrow evening. That has now changed, and Johnson's office just put out a statement moments ago saying that it will now happen next week. Uh, I'll read a portion of it from uh, the Speaker's spokesman saying, quote, to ensure the Senate has adequate time to perform its constitutional duty, the House will transmit the articles of impeachment to the Senate next week, unquote. And he goes on to call on the Senate uh, not to abdicate its responsibility to hold an impeachment trial. Now, this comes after multiple Senate Republicans had advised Speaker Johnson to do just that. They worried that if Johnson had transmitted the articles on Wednesday evening, then it would leave just Thursday for the Senate to start acting on them. And this is going to sound absurd, but it's true. A lot of those Republicans feared that the Senate would be very motivated to immediately dismiss those articles so they can leave on Thursday for a long weekend. Senators really value that extra time, those long weekends. And what these Senate Republicans said was the best way to try to pressure Democrats to hold a trial to move forward with this and give it full consideration was to uh, transmit it next week when there's several extra days for the Senate to be in session before that long weekend. Now, we got some reactions to this. Chuck Schumer the Democratic majority leader said simply we're ready to go whenever they are we're sticking with our plan we're going to move this as expeditiously as possible unquote and Ian Sams a spokesman for the White House released a uh, somewhat mocking and dismissive statement noting that House Republicans waited two months to send these articles already um, now he says they're delaying it for another week he says quote it lays bare how baseless and devoid of substance this whole PR stunt is referring to the impeachment of Marcus strong language there. We also heard from some Senate Republicans, Sahil, in the last hour. What can we expect from them once this impeachment trial begins? Well, a couple of things. Senate Republicans are going to do everything they can to try to pressure Democrats to do a full trial. This can go one of two ways. There can be a trial and full consideration and then a vote to convict or acquit. Or the other way this could go is uh, any one senator can call up a motion to dismiss the trial, and all it takes is 51 senators to dismiss the trial, and the entire thing is over. Republicans tried to do this exact same thing with the trial of Donald Trump after January 6th. Uh, most Republicans voted for it, but they couldn't find a majority. If Democrats have 51 votes in the Senate right now. If they all stick together and vote to dismiss this, it could go away very quickly, Amish. And at this moment, there's not a single Democrat who says they necessarily believe there should be a trial. There's some who haven't taken a position yet. So all Senate Republicans can do is try to pressure Democrats uh, to, you know, to keep this going. And the reason they want to do that is because they see this as a winning political issue. Senator Mitt Romney made clear that this is not going anywhere. Let's play what he said. I think there's no question but that uh, this is not going to uh, result in a conviction uh, because the test of uh, a high crime or misdemeanor being uh, committed has not been alleged and as a result of that uh, there will not be a conviction. So it's either a dismissal or an acquittal, Yamish. A dismissal or an acquittal. It's going to be very interesting to watch whenever those articles finally make it over to the Senate. Thanks so much, Sahil. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.